All right, everybody, welcome to my review for 47 Meters Down. I finally got to see the movie yesterday. I've been wanting to see it for a while, and I finally got to see it yesterday. And I loved it. It was great. I only, I actually didn't really have... Like, coming off the reviews I'd heard last year, I was expecting, you know, there would be issues with it. I didn't really have any issues with it other than the beginning. But that's, about, that's beside the point. I've kind of been on the shark stories recently, but... So, like I usually do with these reviews, I wrote down some notes, and I'm just gonna look um, look them over, and then I'm just gonna talk about it. <laughs> and like I said, I did love it, and the beginning definitely, eh, it didn't, it wasn't what I thought with the shark movie's beginning, but it was fine. And once I got in the cage, after about 15 minutes or so, it really took off, and it didn't let up. The tension throughout the entire thing it was it never stopped it was great there were so many scenes where i'm like oh what's gonna what's gonna happen there's some scenes that didn't even it act like it would happen but it didn't and it really kept you on your toes through the whole thing there's scenes where they have to swim into the open water and you don't know if there's gonna be a shark that just comes out of nowhere because of how deep they are you can't see them till they're on top of you so there was a lot of really well done jump scares in the film too and i it definitely had me in suspense for the entire thing and if I say I recommend this movie, I would recommend this movie for anyone who likes shark movies. It's really good. I don't know where like the mixed or negative reviews are coming from. The movie's a lot of fun. It definitely took itself way more seriously than The Meg did. I saw The Meg uh, opening weekend, and I loved The Meg. It was really good. I probably wouldn't watch it again, or at least for a while. If I ever see it on TV, I probably will, but The Meg was good. It had a lot of comedy in it. This movie had no comedy at all. This was a serious survival movie, and it really added to just the tension of everything as a whole. The music also really added to the tension as well. And you combine really good music with really tense sequences, and it just adds to the whole experience. The action also was good. And I, for some reason, I got an Into the Storm kind of vibe from the shark scenes. Like, you know how in Into the Storm, the tornadoes only show up a few times throughout the whole thing? That's kind of how the sharks were in this movie. They would show up every once in a while, but they wouldn't... They, would, they weren't there the whole time. And then the whole po point where it's like, the sister, I can't remember her name, but it's like, turns out she was taken by a huge shark. And it's like, oh, you're alive, and they swim to the surface. Awesome scene right there. It was really well done. They get to the surface and there's just a shark swimming them. And then the huge plot twist where she was still in the cage. Oh, that was so good. I thought she, she was just hallucinating on the boat, you know, from what they were talking about whenever you would switch the air tanks out. No, she was still in the cage. I did not see that coming at all. And holy crap, that was an awesome twist. And, and I don't know. It definitely made it seem more realistic because I'm like, how would she have been alive? A huge shark, like, bitter in half. So, that definitely... <laughs> I was totally fine with them both getting out of it. And no, only one did. And it was the one who didn't want to go in the cage in the first place. Her eager sister was the one who, uh... Yeah, met the jaws of a shark. <laughs> da dun da dun <laughs> The, um... I mean, that's really all there is about this movie. It's just a fun survival shark movie. Definitely had a great there was some really scary moments in it. I love that there's a part where they swim in open water. Sharks are, we don't know where they are. She gets lost, and yeah, really well done. Great. I loved it. I give it an 8 out of 10, and I will watch the sequel when it comes out. 48 meters down. <laughs> oh, the title just makes me laugh, but I really am looking forward to the sequel now that I've seen the first one. If they do it the same way, there's a lot they can do there, and... I hope it's just as good as the first one. The thing is about the first one, though, it's a unique situation, you know. There's not, I don't think I've ever seen a shark movie like this one, where they're stuck at the bottom of the ocean. You know, that's a different kind of idea, and it worked really well. You do a sequel, and I'm just going to use this for an example. It kind of will get repetitive unless you try to do something different. And then when John does the revenge. Anyway, that's really about it. There was not much else to this movie. You want sharks attacking people, you'll get your wish. You want good, well-made horror movie, you'll get your wish. I mean, yeah, this movie is great. I mean, I put it up there with Jaws. I really like Jaws a lot. And this movie is made just as well. The only thing I didn't really like was the part where, before they get in the cage, it just kind of felt like a bunch of awkward, forced character development and setup. And characters were fine. And everything, yeah, other than that first 10 minutes or so, I liked everything about this movie. 8 out of 10. Easy. So thank you guys for watching. I know I'm like a year behind on reviewing it, but I just now got to see the movie. So 
What do you think of 48, 48 meters? Yeah, what do you think of 48 meters down? You know, the movie that's not coming out until next year. I really liked it. And tell me what you think of 47 meters down. You want to tell me what you think of 48? Tell me after the movie comes out. I'll still be here. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.